Well, here we are again with a new release to the language that will be turning 33 in just a couple of months. Python 3.11 comes out today with a whole host of new features and backend improvements that render this arguably the most important release since version 3.5. In this video, I'll be running you through my pick of the most important changes in this release, though I'll leave the full change log in the description below for those that want all the juicy details. Shall we get into it? I think we shall. Number one, speed improvements. Speed is often the first thing that pops into people's minds when they think of Python, and largely not in a good way. 3.11 aims to change all that however with the introduction of the Faster C Python project, an initiative to try and make Python more appealing to all the speed freaks out there. Compared to Python 3.10, 3.11 is about 25% faster on average, with estimated speed increases of anything up to 60% depending on the workload. If that's not something for the Python but faster series, I don't know what is. These improvements are achieved in a few ways, from a 15% speed up in interpreter startup to the specializing adaptive interpreter, which aims to provide specialized operations for sections of code that are generally type stable. It is worth noting that these changes won't necessarily make your code faster in all situations. Programs that rely heavily on IO or extensively use C libraries won't see much of a benefit. However, most pure Python projects should see a very handy boost in speed. Number two, exception handling improvements. Python 3.10 introduced some much loved improvements to the error messages for certain error types. Python 3.11 takes this a step further by not only extending this to all built in error types, but also by providing more helpful indicators of what causes the errors. This is particularly useful when dealing with nested dictionaries or complex mathematical operations, where the offending variable could sometimes be ambiguous. Notes can also be added to exception tracebacks now, providing the ability to include more detailed help. Exception groups are also new, allowing programs to raise multiple exceptions at once and accompany the new accept star syntax, which allow multiple exceptions to be handled at once. While I'm not 100% sure I like the syntax of creating exception groups, the handling of multiple exceptions is definitely something of great use. I'd recommend reading PEP 654 if you're curious. Number 3. The new Tomolib module. This is the first new module to be introduced since Python 3.9 and removes the prior need to install the external TOML package when wishing to pass TOML files. The syntax is similar to that of the JSON module, though strangely doesn't let you save TOML files to disk. You'll still need the Python package index one for that. Number 4. The Task Group Context Manager this neat little feature provides the ability to wait for all async IO tasks created within a context to finish before continuing. For those of you that have been using async IO.gather in your projects, this is the new recommended way of doing it. And number five, typing improvements. A long overdue alternative to the current type var workaround, the self type aims to make type hinting methods that return an instance of their class easier. Currently, if the method returns an instance of a subclass, some type checkers will see it as returning the parent class instead which causes problems when a subclass adds new attributes and methods. The type file workaround works fine, sure, but the self-type is definitely far less awkward to use and far easier to read as well. Other changes include the new arbitrary literal strings type, as well as an update to type dict, which allows for the marking of elements within type dictionaries as not required. And there we have it, my top picks from Python 3.11's release. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like to let me know and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Let me know what you're most excited about regarding the new release in the comments. Thank you to all my members and patrons, especially Adam Dreyer for becoming a super patron, and I'll see you on Friday for another video. See ya!